Hi, Internet. Here's my goal. Turn Siri into Jarvis from the Iron Man, starting with your calendar. In this shortcut, I'll show you how to teach your phone to read your calendar events aloud for you. This calendar is voice activated and it tells Siri to read your calendar events for today, to get today's weather, and most importantly, to read both of those things aloud for you. I personally like to hear this like when I'm brushing my teeth every morning. It's going to be without me having to touch my phone or even look at anything. If you want to, I'll link to another video in which I show you how to make this a little bit more complex with things like language detection and condition statements to make Siri speech a bit more fitting to your calendar's context. So if you don't have any events on your calendar that she doesn't just start a sentence and then never ends because there's no event for her to end it with, that kind of thing. So let's start. First, make sure the Hey Siri is activated. This will be necessary to activate the shortcut without having to touch your phone which is hard to do early in the morning before I put my glasses on. If you're, I don't know, less lazy than me, I suppose you could also use either the widget or tap the shortcuts app and select the shortcut. But early in the morning, my brain doesn't have enough computing power to do any of those things. Anywho, first things first, we have to explain the shortcut, how to get the events on your calendar. To do that, you tap the search bar, and look for an action called Get Upcoming Events. In it, you can either set a specific calendar you wish for it to look into that day, or you just leave all calendars and then we'll look through every single event you have displayed on your calendar app. In our case, we're gonna leave it as it is so that it gets events for all of the calendars. And the day we're gonna select is today. If you want, you can limit the amount of events it looks into to get an undetermined number of events in a day. Just pick an obscene number like 69 and you should be covered. Next, to address we have something. Our beloved Siri is not really the brightest cookie straight out of the cookie jar. And by that, I mean, she doesn't really always know how to read a date properly. She's a great actress though. If and only if we give her something to work with. So we're gonna make it a bit easier on her and at the very end, we're gonna give her a little script to read. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Before we write that script, we need to collect the information to put in it. Back in the search bar, type get text from input and drag and drop that action right below the get upcoming events one. Through that, what we're doing is telling the shortcut to forget every detail of the files it got. Because yes, as far as the shortcut's concerned, it's getting a file. When we say get upcoming events, it's getting the whole event file with all of that information. That means date, notes, title, alarms, etc. But we don't want all of that. We just wanted to save the title. In the case of an event, the title of the event is already the default information, so we don't have to specify. In some apps, you need to get the details of a specific thing and then just save that. We'll get to that a bit later when we come to the weather. But so far, we're lucky. So all we have to do is get the text from input and place it right underneath get upcoming events. And that will already just save the title of the event as what's called a string or a piece of text really. It's just string, it's a programming term for text. Now, what we've done is we've isolated that information. We're gonna leave it there. We are still collecting information for the script we're gonna write for Siri. So off to tomorrow's forecast. Now, you're gonna get the action get current weather, drag and drop, and get the text for Siri to read later. In the case of weather data, the default information is the title, like if it's sunny, if it's cloudy, etc., and the temperature. So it's a bit different than an event, but it works well for us here. If you have one of those nice weather apps, you can do a whole lot more than this, but for the rest of us peasants that must survive with the native weather app, this is how it goes for a bit more detail. Personally, the detail that I care about is twofold. Firstly, I care about the day's temperature. And when I mean temperature, I mean what it feels like. And I need to know if I need to take an umbrella with me. So firstly, I'm gonna isolate the feels like temperature. To do that, right underneath the 
get current weather, I'm gonna add an action called get details of weather conditions. So let's type that and I'm gonna drag and drop it again and place it underneath. In the details list, as you can see, there's several things that you can select. I'm gonna go with the feels like temperature and again, get text from input and place it at the bottom of that. Now, again, Siri is not the brightest. So the second information I want, as I said, is to know whether or not I need to take an umbrella with me. So I need to know how high are the odds that it's gonna rain today. To make sure that Siri knows that yes, we're still talking about that weather up there, we're gonna have to repeat the process. So we're gonna again place get current weather right on the bottom and again, get details of weather conditions and place it below that. This time, instead of feels like, we're gonna select the precipitation percentage. And what that's gonna give us is the number. And again, we're gonna isolate that information, get text from input, place it right there. Done, great. So now we have all the data we need. It's time to write that script. So far, she's been blissfully clueless about what we're doing. We've gathered all the bits and pieces of information we're gonna need, but that information isn't yet being used anyway. So we need the shortcuts equivalent of a piece of blank paper, and that's the text box. Simply type text and drag it below everything else. Alternatively, you can also click the add to the shortcut box, this plus button right there, which will place the action directly below everything else you have so far. We're also gonna add to the shortcut our main star, Siri. For that, we need the speak text action and we need to place that right below that text box. So whatever we write in it will be spoken by Siri. You can go ahead and click play right now to test it. As is, she won't say anything because there's nothing in the text box for us to read. As I've said, we've been gathering all this information with the events and the forecast, but she has no clue of it. You can write literally the most ludicrous things and she'll just ignore all of our hard work so far and read just what's in there the most ludicrous things so let's not allow that to the text box we're gonna add drum roll please text namely the text we've isolated earlier to do that the easiest way is just to click on the magic one there and insert a magic variable, which is to say, we're gonna select on what we want to be placed there based on what information we've isolated before. So that when we click on that, we're gonna see highlighted all of those texts we told them to get earlier. If you click on all of them, you're gonna have all of the information for series script, but that alone won't make much sense without context. So it might be useful if you think of this text box as basically this. That's what we need to construct for Siri. Otherwise, you just hear this. Work. Late shift call mother 2 degrees Celsius 90. Yeah, so context. We're gonna construct our letter. Good morning, milady. Today, you have the following events on your calendar. Here, you press the magic wand and select the text directly below the calendar events. Right now is, and here we're gonna put the temperature. Again, same process. Press the magic wand, go to where we isolated the temperature, click on that text. The current chance of rain is, and lastly, the rain percentage. Remember to add the percentage sign because when we get the precipitation, we actually just get a number. Siri doesn't really know that that number is a percentage. So we're gonna have to put it in her text box for her to read. Again, not the brightest cookie. Also people, it is actually important that you watch out for punctuation if you want anything remotely close to a decent speech from Siri. She actually cares for punctuation and she'll make you care too, believe me. Other than that, that's it, folks. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Good morning, Melody. Today you have the following events on your calendar. Work. Late shift call mother. Right now, it feels like 2 degrees Celsius and the current chance of rain is 90%. Have a nice day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give me a like and click subscribe if you want to see more like this. 
I'll make sure to put them all on a playlist instead of just scramble around the channel, which is really, really mean and disorganized. And I don't think I could live with it. Other than that, have a nice day and I'll see you next time.